All right, hello again. Um, so today I wanted to talk about limitations. Um, I think it's interesting, it's limitations, because I think a lot of people have these um, preconceived ideas that they aren't able to surpass this certain level of whatever it is. Um, it's, it seems like it's super arbitrary and random, actually. So a lot of people, a lot of my friends, a lot of people I know have these these super arbitrary random ideas on where they are where their limit is and so whether that be like this you know like a mental limit at work where you can't you can't you don't think that you're able to to finish this thing or you can't do that it's too hard you can't do this or whether it be in climbing um a lot of times i go climbing with my friends um and they have these these preconceived notions that they aren't able to past this certain point on the rock or they they aren't able to do this certain piece of it because it looks too hard and all i can ever think is well you haven't tried it yet how can you possibly know that you can't do it if you haven't even tried um and then chances are a lot of times they try it um and i i force them to try so i'll be belaying them from down below and they're climbing up they get to that point where they say ah it's too hard i can't do it i'll i'll say to them i'll be like no you at least try before you come down and that I'll essentially force them to try they try it and then they actually do it they actually sur- pretty easily usually some I mean it's like they, they don't even have to hardly think about it they just they just try it and then they they surpass that limitation because so they they looked at a point on the rock and they said no it's too hard can't do it without having tried it and then they try it and then they complete it and they, they finish it successfully and so that's just a, a kind of an interesting message to me because the limitations that people are giving themselves, and, and I, you know, myself included, I, I'm not, I'm not perfect either. Um, but a lot of limitations that people give themselves are just random, and they're they're un, they're not backed by any, anything at all, really. Um, and so that's just kind of an interesting thing to me because uh, if we just sort of start trying shit, if we just think, okay, you know what, maybe I can, maybe I can't, I don't know if I, we'll see, and then you just try it. I think you'll shock yourself with with figuring out that you actually are much more capable than you ever thought that you were. Um, so that was kind of the first thing I want to talk about was just limitations and trying to break through those limitations. I think, and just one more little thing, um, a lot of us have limitations that are based around not wanting to look stupid in front of people. Um, so a lot of things in life are are set up to where you're gonna you're gonna probably look stupid the first time you try it you know so you're gonna you're probably gonna be out of your comfort zone and doing things that are that are different and hard and new and challenging and you're gonna be probably probably there's gonna be some people around you you know and you don't want to try those things because it makes you, you feel nervous that you know you'll, you'll probably mess it up because it's your first time trying it there's people around you they'll probably they'll probably see you looking stupid and I think whoa um, I think it's important to just kind of try to forget about forget about caring about feel about feeling stupid like chances are you're gonna look stupid but the thing is who cares we're all gonna look stupid sometimes you know it doesn't really matter and then the people are they're just gonna forget you anyway it doesn't matter who cares just just try some shit you know if it works then awesome and if not then oh well try again later you know um, so limitations is just a, kind of a weird thing to me. So that was that was one little topic. I also just felt like going over a couple little different things too. So um, today I officially quit my job. Um, so it was my last day today. I said bye to everybody. Um, you know that whole thing. And so I just I just realized how everyone you know that that, that popular saying misery loves company. I think is really true um, because. To me, that job, mo- a lot of people there are are miserable. <laughs> um, it's, it's a pretty relatively boring job. It's the same thing day in and day out. I see it in the people that are there. They're not, they're not living their perfect lives. Um, and so when, I'm, when I quit, it was like everyone started saying, oh, you're a traitor, you're a quitter, like you, you should just stay here. And really, I think that's just their own pain being expressed and, and you know placed on me a little bit, because I think that they're jealous that they're still there. They're they're 
they're jealous uh, of me that I'm leaving, you know, because them being still there is just like, man, what am I doing here? It's, you know, that's just like this thing. Um, it's, it's just this burden that they haven't really dealt with yet. And I think that's, um, well, I think that they, you know, things need to be changed in their lives and they're just kind of, um, they want you to stay down with them. They want you to be miserable with them. They don't want you to leave and go on and do these bigger, better things. Um, so that was interesting to me because like all, like all of today and people were joking, but all, oh wow. Um, but like all of today, everyone was just saying, oh, you're a quitter. You're a traitor. You should stay here with us. And I, that was just so like, that just felt so backwards to me. So that was one more thing I wanted to briefly talk about. Um, and then last thing was how people love to complain. Everyone loves to complain. It feels good to complain, you know? Um, I don't think that that's healthy. <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's good to vent sometimes. Um, but I think that if you're, if you're constantly talking about things that are, that, that just suck in life, that's all you ever think about. All you ever talk about is, is things that are shitty, things that could be different, things that need, it's just like, if that's where your mind's at constantly, then you got to start, you got to start being more positive. You got to start to switch things a little bit. Um, it, it bothers me when people complain to me. I try, I try really hard to not complain. And I, you know, sometimes of course I complain. That's just human nature, I think. Um, but I, I make a, a real conscious effort to not complain to anybody ever, really. Um, and again, it is healthy, I think, to to not bottle up your emotions and hold things in until you explode. Uh, I think it's I think it's healthy to, to vent here and there. Um, but if you're complaining about the little, the tiniest little things that aren't actually making a difference in your life, then just please please shut up. Just please be quiet. That sounds harsh. Maybe I don't think it is though. Just stop complaining. You know, start start focusing on things that are more positive. Start start to retrain your brain to be thinking about, um, yeah, being more positive, being more grateful, being, being just happier and more, more joyful and more energetic. Um, you, you, you can change, that's a decision. You, you can change the way you think. You can change how you think. Um, it's your brain. You can, you can make changes there. And I think that it's, you should in a lot of certain, in a lot of cases. Um, so stop complaining. Um, it's, it's bad for you, I think. So that's, that's the other message I had too. So kind of a, I don't know, interesting little ramble, three little topics there. So, uh, okay, that's it.